Them man used to talk, you know, and he used to talk enough truth, you know. But when you're dead, them call it truth. When you're alive, them call it controversy. When you're dead, them call it truth. Yeah? So, yeah, man, a real thing the man used to talk, you know. When you're dead, is real thing. When you're alive, you chat too much. No foolish thing, chat. So, when you're dead, the only thing you have, or your youth, them have, as a legacy, is your name. And he used to speak a certain way, he used to encourage black people to do this. But the truth is, nothing will ever change. Because the people that we are looking to for change, right, are the, are the same system. The same system where we are asked to change, and them run the system. So why would why think them are going to change, make themselves come down from the, from the hierarchy, from the top of the hierarchy? They're not going to come down. And I'm not going to let you up either. So this earth set up a way here. Maybe the people are right. Maybe if you just focus on your talent. Maybe if you just focus on your music. Maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe the people are right, you know. Maybe the people are right. Because worst division, divisiveness, cannot change nothing. You're already at a disadvantage based on stratification. You are, you are already at a disadvantage. Right? And you can't make change. If people who control the system, they have to make changes. And if them now make no change, how do you think they will get any change? Not no change. The, the most thing, you're going to have a legacy where, oh, your children them come and them come be like you we got we got talk truth quote unquote truth and people hate them too and you go down the line and go down the line go down the line and then kill off some of your children them because them become activists people, society hate them them dead feel hungry maybe that is not the legacy we want to leave for your children them neither because we're setting out the world is set that we are People are already like setting on them way. People are already setting on them way. It's like not, you can't do nothing about it. So it better you leave wealth for your children. Eh? It's a massive because why you think Donald Trump them rich? Donald Trump them rich because their parents were rich. For the past 200 years, 200 years ago, the, the, the rich people who control the earth, it was only, there were only 3% richer than the rest of the population of the earth. After the colonial era, they were 35%, 35 times more richer than the rest of the earth. So before, um, before the colonial era, or the start of the colonial era, they were like five times richer than the other people. Not, these are the people who control the earth, the small percentage of people. Then. Currently, they are 80 times richer than the poorest place on the earth. On the earth. The people who run the earth. You think they're going to give up that? No. So maybe, 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 maybe if we don't leave wealth for you, them. You know what I say? Them that, them that, them that, them that they, they, we'd have some better societies than just verbiage. Like, get up every day and fight for black people. Tell black people, say, yo, if you do this, tell black people, if you do that, tell Christian people, don't be Christian because Christianity had this and Christianity had that and Jesus had this and Jesus had that. That's not going to change anything. Because ideology is a part of stratification. And if you remove ideology, then the people them now will conform to the system. You see what I say? So what what can you do? You, you come like you better just you better just live. Yeah? Better just live and just try whatever way they can live here you them. It's sad. 
it's sad, it's real sad when you look and see where the people really where the, where the people really are get away with. Where the people are able to get away with, where the people really need to, where the people really um, use to create this whole thing. It's like it's like it's sad when but when you go talk to your people them they don't understand the language you come with. Where is it to come from at a tertiary level? It's like who you have to talk to? You can't talk to a person where already sitting at them way, a person already made up their mind. Um a person who already the minds a person who already say yo um I'd rather be poor. You can't talk to that person. That person will hate you. That person will hate you, you know. If you understand that, you know, that person will hate you. It's sad, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because you know what? Uh, your legacy will be a bum. And, and What my passion is can make me can turn me into a bomb. My passion can turn me into a bomb we walk on the street and worse when them link mental mental illness to it because people if you ever know some things of me got you, you know. If you ever know some things of me got you. I lose all business opportunities because people are so mad. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sad, but we are going my, my dream was to, like, yo. Come together with all of my black brothers and sisters, the man. We just can't understand, sir. We can't help ourselves. But that the system not sets up. The system not sets up. And the more me dig into it, and the more me dig and, and lift up the layers, the man look. I realize that this thing I was designed, this thing I was designed, me can't fix it. Marcus Gavi couldn't fix it. Martin Luther King couldn't fix it. Malcolm X couldn't fix it. Trust me. Gonna fix it. The rich is gonna be rich and richer. The rich will get richer because the rich them will leave them riches for them children. You look up man where you have your talent and you decide to leave your talent. If you go try to educate black people, you are gonna get poor, your children and poor, your children, children and poor, 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 poor along the line. Be a poor people, poor people cannot get close to the hierarchy. China was a country where they decided to do things, some things that are very inhumane, but they, they did it. Yeah. And they set a goal and say, yo, within, um, <clears throat> excuse me, within a certain amount of time, we, we need to have such amount of millionaires and them achieve them goals, eh? them set the goals, them and them discipline enough to achieve those goals. You see what I'm saying? We know we know they know it close to that. We we know they know, know it close to that. And again, a person come forward and start say, yo, and blow the trumpet, you're just dead. You're just dead, you have the most enemies. It, yeah. It's like it buffers me like yo. Let me tell you if I want to make it a wake up call. Let me tell you, let me tell you how I get my wake up call people. I get a wake up call in my people. When I say some artists where I have like six billboard songs. But I well five with me alone and one with Chang Paul. Right? And I say, yo, <clears throat> look at me. You can name my hits them without even guessing. Like you say Vegas, you can say I am blessed, Vegas, heads eye, Vegas, broke it down, Vegas, Apple. You can name many Vegas hits, which is not normal. For especially like a Sinji, almost like Barrington Levy and half pint them achieve them, them goals. Eh? Without 
glasin over myself, see? But when we, when we, when we, when we look at that, when we look at that and me I reason with a sister, right? And the sister said to me, sir, is that, is that look a young artist, right? I look a young artist and say, yo, she want me to do a song with her. Right? And I say, I say, yeah, man. So, my voice note her an idea. I say, yo, you see, the idea, yeah? That'd be a bad idea. Something like when I latitude, latitude do. Like, who rule? You know? Man, man or woman. Like, Papa son a lady jar thing. A lady jar thing, sorry. Because, you know, so people like them look at something there. So I said, um, so run the idea by the girl and nice vibe. And I said, yeah, man, write it, write this, write that. Boom. I said, nobody didn't know this girl, you know. So the girl linked me back about a few weeks after. I said, what's the song I'm telling you for right there? She said, you know, say, the engineer said, we don't do no song with you because people don't like you, so it's not going to go away. I'm going to sit down with my video when she hung up for about two hours. I just sit down. I think I call that Hannibal and tell Hannibal. I think I tell Hannibal. I know I call, who I call? I call, I call Hannibal and I say to Hannibal. What do I say to him? I call somebody, let me see someone can't move. I call a bridge and I say to a bridge and the man say, You know, say, You know, so I forgot to tell you what you do. I think I promote a bridge and I tell the man, I didn't put on a show with you up there. Massachusetts, yeah. and the man I say, yo, Psh. why do you want to see Vegas? Vegas chat too much, and I say. Real? Boom, here's a promoter tune. <laughs> Man, a promoter tune, see? You know what I say? You know what I say? Um, somebody selected him, but the man I send the song to. I said to the man, say, don't send me a blood clot to the Vegas, man. <laughs> Deep, you know? Yeah, man. It reached a point where we do a tune with the artist. A young artist, before the artist even boss. The artist boss and I go on good scene. And I do a tune with the artist before the artist boss, right? Bring all the artists from my life and say, yo, people, the artists are going to boss and run the place, you know. See? Yes, when I hear the man I promote him song, and I say that song is going to boss, you know. If I call the man manager and say, yo, don't involve me now on a, on a, on a promotion. They even call me name. They even talk about the song with me and the artist. Because I don't want them blocking. 
The artist will link me and say, yo, if you do our next song, I'm going say, you're mad, man. I'm going block you. I'm going stop you. Yeah, man. I said, I'm going stop you. Go and go eat your food, you. You don't need a luggage. Yeah, yeah man. So go on, you. Mm -hmm. I put out an album, you know. I put out an album, see? And I have a team of people ready. Publicists, everything, right? Why do I even talk about this? I just want to say. At some point, I have to get it. Like, at some point, I have to get it. I realize, say, yo, this is hopeless, you know. When I see people that say, yo, go on talk and encourage you to talk of the black people and them something there. Another legacy they want if you youth them. Leave wealth for you them, leave riches for you them. Now the whole team line up, you know. I get ready for release an album, you know. Yeah. I'm a tune them so high. Like big, big tune. Like, if you go up on YouTube and type it in, it have over 30 million views, authentic views. Biggest tune of Panama, biggest tune of Costa Rica, biggest tune of France, biggest tune of Martinique. You can't, you can't go watch the clippings when I perform it like Martinique and Panama and France. You can't see, you can't see the pandemonium. So I have an album ready for drop. See? So high album. You know, see, I think go on in my yard. And to be honest with your people, I know I don't really talk about that something like, because it's speculation. I know I don't get a chance to talk about it and tell the people where I really did that. You see what I say? I don't know. But because I'm a man, I'm a humanitarian, I'm a man. I just love people. I just, just care for people, love people, especially people who are underprivileged. I just love people, that's just, just my nature, right? No way I go about my business and say, I'm gonna beat up a youth and I get involved. As a matter of fact, I saw me get cut in my face. It's just in my nature, I saw me get cut in my face. You know? I beat, me say, I'm gonna beat up a little youth. You know? I, go, I come out of my class, I go back to and see a man, a youth, a beat up a little youth. I'm gonna say, yo, love the man, man. And the man just Whap me in my face with a knife as I walk with. Sweep my life. Pam me in my face. I go through my whole school life, my whole teenage years, with a big cut on my face. When you see me, I saw the cut big. A big cut on my face. So, when me boss and come a foreign, you know, because my mother is a little poor lady. So, she no not care me go doctor or nothing to stitch it. So, the key lied. So, me go through the whole of my teenage life and in my twenties with a big caterpillar on my face where people used to see me come on the bus and people I hold them back and I turn from me one day a woman I come down the road and see me and cross the road cross the road come look like a thief according to the, the, the description where them give thieves you see me I say the kind of subjective um, um, condition we will program on that. We look on a youth with a cut in his face and he thinks that somebody cut him. We look on him, he's a thief. And people cross, I see a woman hold on to her bag and cross the road. That me used to look girl, I used, used to go so and look girl and go so. And talk to girls so. <coughs> so, I used to care for people, I just love people. And to my own, to my own detriment. You see what I say? And I have the album ready for release, you know? And a little thing going on in my yard with the shooting. 
People are swear for my life, people. I'm a pick me them. I'm me and Megs. I go about business, you know. I see where I go on. And I try and I try stop anybody from getting shot. I stop me, I try to get somebody from getting shot, you know. I may end up being the biggest clown of the decade. The messy people I say, him did forget shot. And me did forget shot, and me for dead. Artists, everybody team up, everybody being him, and everybody and the man that know where going. All them here, I'm just me, I say, yo, look how you shoot the man, look how you shoot the man. But me, the behind my van, the van within the picture, and my van, you know, I go me, I go on business, you know. And my van in the picture, you know. The vehicle we see in the video, and my vehicle, you know. And I let me go there, go go I look for video something, you know. And my vehicle, them there on, you know. <laughs> and I know nobody no know, say, I'm my vehicle that in the video. My vehicle. I try me, I try to stop anything from happening, and something end up happening. And I think say the youth. When I see the youth drop a ground, I think I'm dead. Because I see him start holding up on your and blood starts spew. So I say, the man dead, he can drop a ground. But me the behind my vehicle, me not see when no man I try to grab with nobody gun, me the behind my vehicle, so my view black from the, from, from what, what I go on around there, so come me, me I try to tell my youth the, the youth you see, when I say to him, say Vegas attack to you. As somebody where me know. So me I try to calm him down and I tell him, say, yo, I'm me man. So that means say him know say somebody did it with him. So I begs me begs with him now, come here and get him said no problem. So me I say, look who you shoot the man here, blah 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 blue. blue. Because I don't know, say, adrenaline rush and them things, everything. Me a human being. So, I don't like me, I try to catch a video for show the world. Say, me day, me day not seen. I could not put my personal agenda over, over life. Yo, you know what? A day is me and my house and cry, man. When I see people,